Yesterday, a federal judge heard an emergency request to block a new Georgia law banning gender-affirming care for minors. Anne Marie has more on the efforts by multiple states to restrict access to surgeries and hormone therapies. Anne Marie? Yep. In fact, Ed, 20 U.S. states have passed gender affirming care bans for minors. 31% of transgender youth live in these states. That's according to a Williams Institute study. And these laws include uh, bans on puberty blockers, surgical procedures, and hormone treatments. Now, puberty blockers, a reversible medication that delays the onset of puberty, they are most commonly prescribed to transgender youth. Hormone treatments or surgeries are generally not allowed for those under 18. Some of these laws, though, like the ones in Florida and Montana, well, they also discourage social transitioning, like using new names or maybe changing your clothing. In several states, though, uh, the laws impact more than just health care for transgender kids. Florida and Texas allow Child Protective Services to intervene if a parent seeks gender-affirming care for their children. Transgender adults in states like Missouri are also seeing their access to care restricted. Other legislat legislatures, rather, are also looking to ban all gender-affirming care until the age of 26. So groups like the American Medical Association, though, they have warned that these bans could lead to unintended consequences for children. A 2022 study found that 60% of teens who received access to puberty blockers or ho hormones were less likely to experience moderate or severe depression, and 73% less likely to contemplate suicide or self-harm. It's important to note that many of these laws have been temporarily halted while they make their way through legal challenges, Ed.